What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Sergeant Moose here. We have some awesome news in the Predator Hunting Grounds community today, guys. That is right. Patch 2.0 Part 1 has been released today. Now, I know it was supposed to be released tomorrow, August 28th. However, because of the free trial, Ilphonic had to release the patch today. So let's jump into it. Let's read some of these patch notes. Stick around and let's get into it. So we're going to read some of the patch notes here, guys, and I'll also link the patch notes down in the description. Now, Elphonic did go on to say that we are so excited that our free trial and patch 2.0 is upon us. And working with all of our partners, we have learned that we have to give you part of patch 2.0 early in order to make certain the trial starts on time. Here is the first part of patch 2.0 that addresses some quality of life bug issues. Tomorrow, Friday, you will be getting the rest of 2.0, which includes this month's free update. Happy hunting! So let's start with the general guys. We have some general fire team and predator changes, some big changes across the board. Let's get into the general. So they implemented Playgo to allow playing of the tutorial while downloading the rest of the game. Perks and gear that cannot be equipped due to weight and point limits are now grayed out. Added the option to report a player after the after action report. Added tips and tricks to loading screens. Fixed an issue where certain destructible objects were not showing properly. Fixed an issue where the minimap would not accurately display the correct self-destruction radius and mission search area location. Fixed some issues with minimap icon sizes. Fixed an issue where the minimap may not accurately display the correct location of the player. Fixed an issue where the mission icons would not display on the minimap when out of range. Fixed some highlight color inconsistencies in the customization menu. Fixed a rare issue with matchmaking when connecting to a server. Fixed an issue where the main menu would sometimes become stuck, partially transparent. Various crash fixes and stability improvement. So that there, guys, is the general fixes. Um, a lot of them we were kind of needed because some of them were, uh, they've been around since launch, and I'm really glad to see that they made some of them changes. So let's get into the big stuff, man. Let's get into the fire team. So as we speculated on previous videos, ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Last Man Standing mode, and it has been introduced into the game today. I didn't expect it to be this soon, guys. I thought it was going to come next month with the new map and mode, but nope, we got the Last Man Standing. So how it's going to work? Now, the last fire team player will enter a Last Man Standing state, which will buff the player's stats and give them more of a fighting chance. This will last as long as they are the last standing player. While affected by Last Man Standing, the last fire team player will also have increased body heat visibility to the Predator player. So the way I'm saying this, guys, is if you're the last guy alive, say all three of your teammates die, you'll go into Last Man Standing state. Now, if you reinforce, you'll be taken out of that state until you're the last man standing again. So as long as you're the last guy alive, you're going to get all these cool buffs, and it's going to kind of pay homage to the 87 film where it was just Dutch and the Jungle Hunter. So very, very interesting. It's going to be a game changer, guys. I'm pumped about this. Um, more stuff for general for fire team. Increased fire team damage taken from AI. That's very interesting. The spotting icon's color is now based on the player's call sign colors. Remote interactions now show progress properly. Spotting icons now clear when the spotted item is depleted. Lower damage reduction from equipping a pistol suppressor. Fixed an issue where the fire team run am animation was not pr playing properly while holding a medical kit. Fixed an issue where the different fire team classes were receiving slightly different amounts of damage from different damage sources. So guys, we have a bunch of weapon changes as well, starting with the S-Red or the Old Painless. Now the minigun now spins up when holding down ADS. So instead of just holding the fire weapon to spin the weapon, ADS will spin it for you before firing, which can definitely be um, significant considering that it did take a while to get it to spin up and start firing when holding the fire button. The 10, 11, 12 has increased total ammo. The Grim Tech 19 increased total ammo. PDWZ increased close range damage, and the Hammerhead lowered close range damage and increased recoil. So that's also going to be interested with the Hammerhead, guys, because I did like that weapon because of the low recoil. So that's going to be increased. Kind of a nerf there coming for the Hammerhead. Uh, the Flashbang gear increased blinded duration, increased gear weight. Now for perks, we have the Multitasker, increased ADS movement speed, increased cost. Flesh Ripper, increased damage against AI, increased cost. Sludge Blood, increased time before you bleed out. 
Efficient, reduce cost. Persistent, reduce cost. Action hero, increased cost. Prepper, reduce cost. Thick skin, increased health, increased cost. Dexterous, increased cost. Double time, increased movement speed. Pig and shit, reduce cost. Yaucha's bane, increased damage to Yaucha. Tracker, increased spot time, increased cost. Ice cold, increased reduction of thermal body temperature. Body armor, increased damage reaction reduction, I should say, from AI, increased cost. OWLF trained, increased damage reduction from predator. Weapons training, increased reduction of recoil, increased cost. Silent, re increased reduction of sound bubble size, reduced cost. Sixth sense, increased cost. Iron lungs, increased stamina bonus and re reduced cost. All right, guys, so that is it for the fire team. Lots of changes coming with the weapons and perks and, of course, the last man standing mode. Now let's get into the predators, see what kind of changes we have for pred. So for general, made improvements to prevent pred core transition volumes from blocking projectiles. Fixed an issue that caused the predator to automatically claim downed enemies. That is significant, guys. I know that's one we've uh, definitely been hoping for for a long time. Definitely myself, that's been a big issue. Uh, fixed an issue that caused some loadouts to load in with two plasma casters. Another big issue that a lot of us have had, uh, if you had your Yaucha bow or something else, and it would get replaced by a plasma caster and you essentially could not use it. So now that has been fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Fixed an issue where the Predator's weapon would sometimes appear invisible or not fully equipped to clients. That was another big issue. Fixed an issue where the Predator's footsteps may sometimes not play if they were behind the player. Fixed an issue that limited the City Hunter to just the Roar option in the Mimicry Wheel. So, instead of just having the Roar option, no matter what you picked in the Mimicry Wheel, guys, it should work the way it's supposed to. Also, updated City Hunter Roar and Roaring Sound Effects, Healing Roar Sound Effects. So, at the very beginning of this video, guys, you did hear the City Hunter's new Roar. Let me know what you think about the City Hunter's new Roar in the comments. Um, so, for Predator Weapons, we have some changes as well to the Combi Stick. Fixed weapon shaders for the City Hunter combi stick variant. So that was another issue, guys. Uh, some of the shaders weren't working properly on the City Hunter uh, variant of the combi stick. Now it's been fixed. Wrist blades. Fixed an issue where the City Hunter wrist blades were not showing properly during long claim cinematics. The smart disc. Fixed an issue where if the City Hunter smart disc was stuck in an object, the player would become stuck in ADS mode. Fixed an issue where the smart disc was not showing up in the City Hunter's holster. <laughs> now, I can't say much about the smart disc, guys. I never use it, but for those of you that do use the smart disc, you should be happy about that. Uh, the Aucha Bow. Lowered headshot damage. That is very significant. Uh, War Club. Increased damage of final melee swing. Good stuff for the War Club. Definitely giving the War Club some buffs. I'm happy about that because I like the War Club. Uh, handheld plasma caster, reduced fire rate, increased recoil, adjusted camera shake, net gun, increased recoil, adjusted camera shake. Ilphonic, please don't mess with my net gun, man. <laughs> increased recoil on the net gun. Mm, that should be interesting. Uh, so here's something for the bear traps, guys. Bear traps are now destructible before being activated. That's right, guys. You can now destroy the bear traps as the fire team. Reduced visibility of bear trap proximity field. Increase the amount of bear traps that the Predator has equipped at the start of the match. So, this is both good for the Predator and the Fire Team, guys. So, if you're the Predator, you'll automatically start out with more bear traps. And also, the visibility of the bear traps is reduced. And for the Fire Team, you can now destroy the bear traps. So, definitely good on both sides there. Uh, for the Predator perks, we have Clotted, Increased Extended Blood Trail Intervals, Energy Cell, Increased Energy Reserves, Increased Cost, Large Pouch, Increased Cost, Resourceful, Increased Bonus XP, Lightbender, Reduced Cost, Medic, Increased Heal Speed, Large Pouch, Increased Amount of Uses for Gear Items, Down Range, Increased Cost, Spectral Awareness, Increased Sound Bubble Size, Increased Cost, Dithered Lens, Increased Laser Visibility Reduction, Reduced Cost, Cooling Sinks, Reduced Perk Cost, Long Jump, Increased Leap Distances, Height advantage, increased damage reduction. Impatient, increased cooldown reduction of second wind, increased cost. Hanging on, increased duration of second wind. Observant, increased cost. Adrenal boost, increased bonus to stamina and exhaustion recovery, increased cost. Protection, increased mask damage reduction, reduced cost. Trapper, increased trap difficulty. Ascender, increased predcore mounting speed. 
heated, reduced cost. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, fast hands, increased weapon and gear swap speed, and increased cost. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for the 2.0 patch notes. I know that was a lot to go over, guys. I know that was a lot of talking. But I'll link the patch notes down below in the description so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself in case you missed anything. Um, but huge, uh, in my opinion, that was a huge patch. A lot of big issues were addressed and fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Um, also, we have the last man standing mode, which we've been uh, kind of speculating. It is in the game now, guys. I can't wait to try it out. Um, but let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on these patch notes. Is there anything that you wanted to see that didn't happen or maybe something that you wanted to see that did happen? Let me know. Also, let me know what you think about this new uh, City Hunter Roar. I'm not going to give an opinion on that yet. I want to know what you guys think of it first. But uh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we have the second half of the patch coming tomorrow with the free trial. So for those of you that are on the fence about this game, still not sure if you want to try it out or buy it, go ahead and give it a try tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think if you do try the free trial tomorrow. Also, we'll be getting the OWLF Assault Rifle and the Fire Team Supply Drops tomorrow. We'll be covering that here on the channel, so if you, enjoyed the co if you enjoyed the content, please feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for your source of news, gameplay, and content for Predator Hunting Grounds, and also September 1st, we'll be covering the 87 Dutch as well. So I hope to see you guys right here. My name is Sergeant Moose. Stick around, rock on, and take care, ladies and gentlemen.